Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I have me right here, the iPhone 11 Pro with the latest iOS 13.3.1. That's right, we're gonna be investigating the U1 chip, the toggle that allows you to disable it. You go into settings, then you go into privacy, then you click on location services, then you scroll all the way to the bottom, system services, and then there's a new toggle right here. It says networking and wireless and toggled off like that. Are you sure? Yes, I do wanna turn it off. Thing is, it does nothing whatsoever <laughs> to the radiation coming out of the device. So with the U1 chip disabled, I'm still getting the same sort of readings as I had before. So I don't think that toggle does anything over here. <laughs> yeah, I've tested it in all various situations. That toggle does nothing, but all is not lost. There is another magical toggle that can turn your phone's radiation levels completely off. That one's actually called Bluetooth. If you have Bluetooth, enabled, it's constantly going to be polling and, I don't know, scanning for devices and the radiation level just keeps on popping no matter what when Bluetooth is on. When it's off, however, the phone goes super quiet, radio off. It's a very, very low experience. If you have Bluetooth on with no devices connected, that's when it's shooting out the RF frequencies, which means it's doing some sort of communication or searching for other devices in the area at that level. So if you want to get the lowest RF, if you can, turn off Bluetooth. And that's when the phone will drop down to not using anything. You don't even need to use that networking or wireless switch. Now, I did also test mobile data, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff together. With mobile data, with 4G levels, what happens in that situation is the phone does a lot of polling, shoots up to pretty high radiation levels. It goes all the way up to 300, 400, that kind of stuff. But it does it for like, 30 seconds at most and then the phone calms down and then after a while it will boost up again. So even when your screen is off and it's in your pocket. When it's done all of its background processing with the internet, it will calm down. So you can see when the phone screen is off, it does still do background operations, but once it's done it, it seems to settle down and it's pretty calm, very, very low readings. So now the screen is off, the phone's still on, but as long as it's not doing anything in the background, it is running fine. But every now and then, it's gonna check the mail, it's gonna upload photos to Apple Photos, all that kind of stuff in the background. So for the safest radiation levels, if you switch from 4G to 3G, the phone on, the phone off, it is, it's never in the red. It's only at most in the yellow. And if you want double protection, set mobile data options. Instead of 4G, you can go down to 3G and check the levels out on here. Look at that, that's a 3G for you. It's very, very, nothing is coming out of this device on over 3G. And you know, I'm not gonna say too much about this radiation stuff, but you know, red means bad, yellow means, you know, don't worry about it. Green means you're good. So with 3G and Bluetooth off, this iPhone 11 Pro, a great, great, great device for its radiation levels. When you put 4G on, it eats up more, more than my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. However, you know, 4G is gonna be pulling stuff, but the good thing about 4G, at the very least, is every now and then, it does calm down. It doesn't constantly hit you, but when you have Bluetooth on, that's when it's constantly boosting out that radiation of 100 milliwatts per meter squared, at the very least. Now, I don't care if you think that's high, I don't care if you think that's low, I'm just telling you, red, yellow, green, and, if you want to have the U1 chip properly toggled, you just disable the Bluetooth because the networking and wireless option that they tell you disables it doesn't actually do anything according to this RF radiation meter. I've tested it. And one thing to note, it's not enough to just tap that button in this screen because even if you turn off Bluetooth here, it is still on as you can see. The way you disable Bluetooth, what you have to do is you go into settings over there, you tap Bluetooth over there and you gotta hit that toggle button here. Once you hit that toggle button over there, look what happens to the readings, boom, it drops. So don't use this toggle. This toggle doesn't do anything, <laughs> just like most of Apple's toggles, but you can toggle it using that toggle. Hmm. Which toggle? My girlfriend's gonna be very, very happy with me because she's finally gonna have, to, she's finally gonna be able to use her phone maybe in her pocket again. She's been. She's been carrying a handbag, putting on airplane mode wherever she's gone for the past few months. So thank you, Apple, for this update. Thank you for allowing us to disable it. 
even though you lied about how you disable it. But nonetheless, you can disable it now using turn off Bluetooth option. So with Bluetooth purely on, not searching for any other devices, no, no other devices were connected. It's eating up almost 300. I saw it spike up all the way up to there. Spike, mostly it's eating up 100, but it does spike to 200 to 300 milliwatts. And that's just, nothing's connected over Bluetooth. Mobile data is off, Wi-Fi data is off and the phone screen is off. Hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of radiations you guys are finding with your RF meters and I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Yeah, I can finally put this baby in my pocket. As long as I'm wearing some lambs radiation proof boxers, even when it's on sleep, it's buzzing out. However, with a little bit of lambs radiation proof boxers, the meter just drops right down. All the way from La France. Links in the description below. I'm actually very impressed with these and I'm gonna be actually ordering some more because I probably need extra large.